Okay, Mario, so what's your involvement at the gym? Well, um, I'm the head coach. Uh, I'm, I'm care about the um, MMA and the, the groundwork, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, basically, that's what I'm doing now. Okay, how long have you been here? Um, December this year will be six years. Uh, the first six months I, w I, was, I, w I, w I was here as, as a fighter, just training. And then after the six months, and I had the opportunity to become a coach. I had coach, and that's it, that's six years. Have you found working with the likes of Anthony and Lee over the years? Oh, do I have to answer that? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, it's, it's quite all right. It's okay. We all have like issues, but uh, we have really good friends. And they work being, being be all right. Well, otherwise, I wouldn't be here for six years. As you know, I'm Brazilian. It's not. I'm not here because because the weather, and um, we're doing good. Okay, the gym's come a long way in the last six months, uh, six years. Sorry, um, Michael's obviously won the Ultimate Fighter and progressed in the UFC. You've now got Quinton and, and Czech Congo here as well, and recently had three more guys signed to the promotion. Yeah. Um, what do you think to the to the progress that the team's made? Uh, when when we first start, I said to Anthony, uh, in five years. We need five years to become a, a, a good gym. And then we did before five, you know, most four and a half years we we had Mike in the UFC and um, and the word heard about England in a different way. Before that was only a couple of fights we had uh, um, Ian Freeman, but then after Ian Freeman we had like no no many English guys in UFC or, or an MMA um, an MMA shows around the world. And after Mike, and then after the World Slayer, and then I think the world uh, had the opportunity to to, to know uh, different fighters, the new fighters come from England, and we've been successful. Most of the gym need like five, ten years, or, or like American top team, they are they own for ten years, Brazilian top team ten years, uh, Golden Glory twenty years. We have only six years, and. We we are already one of the best gyms in the world, so I'm I'm really happy. And then this is um, a, a hard work we had we we done here, and then we're still working. Like we have we have as you said, we have three new guys in UFC, and we we need more. We want more guys, so we have new new kids in the gym, and these guys like soon gonna be gonna hit the UFC or some other big shows. Okay, like you mentioned, you you are a Brazilian. Uh, how do you rate the uh, the skills at an English gym? Well, basically, oh, well, I'm, I'm being in many camps, yeah, and in many gyms. I used to train on Golden Glory and Brazilian top team, Carlson Grace, and every place I've been, I've, I've learned different skills. And what I'm trying to do here is put the best I the best I got to, to I, I'm trying to give to them. And it's it's easy to be honest. You know I mean, well, at first at, at first was was a little bit harder because and the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu we very we have discipline and then I'm trying to put the discipline we have in the BJJ with the MMA and today today I, could, I can say it's easy. We are working good now. Okay, the gym's got two massive fights coming up later this month. Uh, both Quinton and Michael are involved at UFC 114. Yeah. Um, what's been your involvement in getting the pair ready for the fight? Well, well Mike, Mike. Well, let's speak for, about, first about Mike. Mike fights um, a good groundwork, yeah, uh, and uh, that's one of the points we brought to Brazilians: uh, uh, a black belt and a brown belt, uh, Rafael and Andrew, to help in his groundwork. Uh, so, with Mike, uh, I trained it more like about jiu jitsu yeah, and. We clean, oh, we we been work. Uh, my my job is just the the the, the ground and pound, the, the ground work, ground and pound, and then the BJJ. And I think if we, I think we've been doing a really good job with them. I mean, both are really, really, uh, they've been trained really hard for this fight. And Mike always really, really great, obviously, fit, really good fitness. He just just come along really good. And Quint as well. I mean, from 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 the last couple of fights, now his his groundwork has been really good now. So 
I'm happy with the the way we've been training, and I believe we're going to have good results for this fight. Okay, if you had to predict, um, yeah, the outcome of the two fights, what, what would you predict? I think we're both gonna. I, I believe Mike gonna knock him out, and same same for you. Know?